Hello everybody, welcome back to Cure of the Common Game. Today is the day, it's deck number 600. Uh, why is deck number 600 special to me? Behind me on the wall, you see the previous 599 decks, and to be honest with you, that is an amazing feat. I, there are times when I just, it blows my mind. But deck number six, I, I always like to try to do something different, something special for uh, the what I call the Centennial decks. And deck number 600 is probably the biggest one I've done yet. Now, in this video, <clears throat> this is just, uh, I had some scheduling issues and things like that. The initial thing that I wanted to get done proved undoable. So, um, but what is doable is today we're going to go ahead and do the, uh, the normal deck tech like we do. And... Tomorrow, on Thursday, uh, you will actually be able to see me play this deck over on the Commander Rules Committee's Twitch stream on their Twitch channel. So uh, I was invited by Sheldon to play on, on their channel to, to celebrate the 600th deck, and uh, that's huge for me. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I know I didn't... I just titled the title of the video number 600, uh, so I'm sure you're curious as to. A few of you probably already know, uh, but let's get to it, shall we? Now, oh, 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 cords, stuff, junk. Deck number 600 is Ren and Siri. Now you'll have to give me a moment because I have got to get uh, I gotta get the glare gone, right? There we go. Ren and Siri. It is deck number six hundred. Now, Ren and Siri gave us for the first time. Dogs are a thing. And clear it up a little bit. It's Ren and Siri. Now we have red, green, white, which is all the colors that we need for cats and dogs. Uh, you cast a dog, you get a cat. You cast a cat and you get a dog. For three men and tap, Ren and Siri deals damage to any target equal the number of dogs, but you gain life equal the number of of cats, which is pretty cool. Now, th this deck has been done for a little bit, and I've had a chance to play it. Uh, that ability is, I mean, um, to be honest with you, sometimes I, I, I call myself forgetting about that ability. And just the buy one, get one free nature of all the creatures. So the problem is, Dogs. Now, dogs don't have the history that cats do because cats have been a thing in magic for a long time. Dogs have just recently, yes, there's a few old hounds that were retconned to be dogs, but they just haven't gotten the tribal love that, you know, cats have gotten. So we're going to start with the dogs first. Uh, you know, first and foremost, the pack leader. This was in 21. This was the. Uh, this is the flagship. And it kind of reminds me, the artwork reminds me of that, um, like the dog that helped the Dalmatians escape. I I, uh, I have always claimed that I was not a pet person, uh, but uh, as many of you have seen pictures on the internet with me holding random dogs and cats, I'm happy about it. So anyway, <laughs> but... Uh, pack leader, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn to dogs you control. That's really big. We have Izamaru. Beautiful, beautiful Izamaru. It's one of the first dogs. Uh, selfless savior. Now, yes, the foil concentration in this deck is pretty high. Because, uh, you know, I may love dogs and cats, but I'm part raccoon. I love the shiny things. Um, Alpine Watchdog, just a bear. Uh, Bolt Hound, 
trusty retriever and ignis cur now that's the extent of the dogs as it were now we're going to get into the cats um now Trigo Caracal, of course, had to be in there. I'm running a Kahira for another version of the plus one, plus one ability. Uh, Pride Sovereign, of course, you know, one, one for each cat. Now, it's it kind of balances itself out with, because there's way more cats than dogs, but every time you cast a cat, you get a dog token. So, it... It, it does kind of balance itself out. Um, how about some flying cats in uh, Skyhunter Skirmish? The fact that it's got double strike oh, and flying, that's a uh, wild in the coddle. Is, I mean, is this not the perfect card for the deck? Uh, with one mana, three, three. Of course, the feline sovereign. Got to have the feline sovereign. Uh, Scythe, Leopard, Pride, Malkin, Pouncing Cheetah. Now... Miri the Cat Warrior. This one blew me away. I've I pulled this from a 10th edition pack way, way back. And I didn't realize that the full 10th edition one was Ooh. Anyway. But let's talk about stuff like White Main Line. Now, White Main Line and to a different extent the Fleetfoot Panther. Uh Fleetfoot they're close to the same card. Uh bouncing another creature or bouncing a creature it can totally bounce itself if you find yourself with ridiculous amounts of mana and uh especially the fleet foot you know instant speed there um you can generate a whole bunch of tokens really really quick uh, adorned pouncer garrison cat some more flying sky hunter patrols Lone Lion. I missed drop. There's a dog in here. Chandra's Mage Mutt. Um, yeah, found its way into the cat pile. Now, Watchers of the Dead. I kind of like it. You know, we are playing three colors. Any break we can get, you know, right? Initiate's Companion. Uh, Save Sabretooth. Bronze Hide Lion. Keeper of Fables. Gotta have, you know. Because that, that's a card-drawn engine right there. I ain't got no humans. Well, that's not exactly true, is it? Hmm. Uh, Sacred Cat. Sabretooth Mauler. Felidar Sovereign. I was like, well, this is just a big old cat right there. But the problem is, with Felidar Sovereign, I put this card in a lot of decks, as y'all know. I have never won a game with this ability. Because, I, I mean, it's... It's a perfectly balanced card. When it first came out, I thought it would get banned in Commander, but it is perfectly balanced, and as many times as I've played it, it's six mana, and it's got to be alive of the whole round of, of the table. And typically, you're not at 40 life by that time, unless you are in just in, uh, in a dedicated I Gain Life deck. But uh, with Healer of the Pride... Well, another creature in the battlefield, you gain two life, or under your control, you gain two life. You're gaining two life off the creature you cast and the token that entered. So that's not hard to do. Uh, what should we look at next? Oh, well, since we are on, on, on the Ren and Siri getting tokens thing, let's look at, you know, Anointed Procession is perfect for this. Uh, it. It's not a doubling season. I do not have a doubling season in the deck. I do, however, have a Parallel Lives and a Primal Vigor. You know, that that helps out quite a bit. Cathar's Crusade, though, is probably the the big... Woo, yeah. Because here again, you're getting creatures two at a time. So, whenever a creature enters the battlefield... So, your original creature hits the battlefield first. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm reading the wrong card. Ren and Siri, when you cast, you get the token. So the token comes into play first. And then your original hits play. So uh, your token's probably going to be bigger than your original in a lot of cases. But uh, in case it's not, we have shared animosity to, you know, help out with the uh, the combat. 
And to prevent from those crazy, crazy blowouts, you know, we've got uh, root-born defenses and heroic intervention. Heroic intervention, you know, big favorite. Y'all know I love it. Uh, but check this out. Changelings. Yeah, I know this is just a, a vanilla changeling with flying, or I guess that'd be French vanilla. But it's a cat and a dog when you cast it. So it's buy one, get two free. That's a thing. So the only changelings that I I had, I didn't have another copy of Mirror Entity. Man, that would have been awesome. Um, uh, Chameleon Colossus. That's a card. And then the other changeling card is going to lead us right into removal you know, crib swap, because this is not only a, uh, uh, a removal spell, but it's a removal spell that's going to get us two creatures out of the deal, assuming our commander is on deck. Let's see here. Uh, we have, in removal, we have Kasali Pride Mate, which is a cat, does its thing, but it's also an emergency disenchant if you need it, or, or naturalize. I mean, I am playing with naturalize and return to nature. Uh, Felidar Cub, kind of similar, pops an enchantment, uh, Banishing Light, Enlightened Ascetic, uh, Destroying Target Enchantment, I mean, it's a thing, and then Rebuff the Wicked, because, you know, you don't want other people playing with your floofers. Uh, let's look at our ramp, shall we? Now, I do have an obligatory white border card. <laughs> gotta have white border. I love white border so much, but you know, foils don't exist in white border. So, uh, gotta have that rampant growth, uh, search for tomorrow, harrow and cultivate in there as well. Uh, now Oresco's Explorer, I'm going to count that as ramp. Uh, yeah, the lands go to your hand, but I like that it says planes, you know, uh, but it does go to your hand, but this way you don't run, you know, start missing land drops. And we have a Talisman of Unity, an Arcane Signet, and then Bonder's Ornament. Notice there's no Soul Ring. Uh, that was actually intentional. Really was. Because there's not a lot of actual... A lot of the creatures is just so dang cheap. There's other other ramp in there. I you know, I like Bonder's ornament. I think it, it's uh, uh, overlooked. How should we say? Uh, yes, we've been paying three mana for a rock that gets us a mana of any color for a while. This does it with some card draw attached to it, and maybe it's good that it's not real popular. Because I'll be honest with you, I think only I've played this quite a bit. Y'all have seen it in quite a few of my decks. I think only one time I've ever activated this and somebody else has drawn a card. And I think that was intentional because I was doing it to uh, try to uh, curry favor at the table. Um, but that does lead us into card draw, you know, Harmonize, the card that shouldn't exist that we all love. Uh, Rights of Flourishing, Double Meat, Double Cheese. A thrill of Possibility, and of course Camaraderie because, you know, it's life gain, it's draw cards, it's creature beats. That That's kind of what we're all about in this deck. So <clears throat> let's get to our land package, shall we? Now, the first land, uh, obviously, we have to have the Animal Sanctuary. Now, the problem here is... It's no problem with the card, it's a problem with Brian. Uh, bird, Cat, Dog, Goat, Ox, Snake... Okay, the snake tribe has gotten some love. So have birds, cats, and now dogs, goats, and oxes. Are we uh, are we going to get an ox tribe, or is 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 the goat tribe getting more love? Oh my gosh, could you imagine? Olivia will be so happy because who doesn't love free goats, right? Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know the evolving wilds and terramorphic expanse, of course. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, and Fable Passage rounds out our any color lands. Then we have, 
we'll see, uh, Battlefield Forge, Inspiring Vantage, yes, uh, the Windscarred Crag, Temple of Triumph, and we have an Arid Mesa. Don't look so shocked. Yes, I know it's a a real fetch land, but let's see exactly what that fetch land can go get. We can get a plains or a mountain. So, I mean, obviously we all know it can get a temple garden or a stomping ground. It'll also get us, a, you know, either a sheltered thicket or a cinder glade. Those are those are all possibilities. Um, a few temples, the Temple of Abandon. We got some air coming here. My box is getting full. The Temple of Abandon, Temple of Plenty, Rootbound Crag, everybody's favorite Blossoming Sand, and you know, it wouldn't be a Brian deck without a couple of Guild Gates, Celestia, and Gruel. Now for the lands, I did uh, for the basics. I did use the uh, exclusively the M21 cool basics, you know. But that is it for deck number 600. Uh, once again, I do apologize for the wait. It, uh, it didn't pan out the way I wanted, but to be honest with you, I think it actually worked out way better than I could have hoped. Uh, I will be... It's an honor to play with the rules committee on their on their stream. So the let's go put it on the wall, shall we? And this will be the last deck I put on the top row. So let's see if we share this way so you can still see. We'll put six hundred on the wall. By the way. Putting the decks on the wall after I get done was a suggestion by Shivan from the advisory group. Uh, if y'all remember back when I did deck number 400 on his and Phil, uh, Phil DeLuca show, he said, oh, you should try to do that. And as I, <laughs> as it happens, this is pretty neat. So. So the next deck, 601, is going to start, you know, a new block. Now, this does raise the important question. That wall will hold 1,200 decks. Right now, there is a, there's a total of 944 possible decks. Uh, we are getting, uh, I mean, Commander Legends. We're getting Zendikar. They're not going to stop printing Legends. They're, I mean, it's, it's pedal to the metal. Uh, but anyway, I hope all y'all can come over to the Rules Committee stream over on Twitch, their uh, Twitch channel. I will have the uh, link in the show notes below. It's Thursday. Um, I'm not exactly certain on time right now, um, but I don't have a lot of gameplay videos out there, and so I, I'm I'm not as um, as versed on that aspect of uh, of video production as maybe I should be but it'll be a blast to play with them uh, it's a huge honor for me um, and to be honest with you look how far we've come it's not just me I'm not in this alone every one of you has helped uh, every every watch every click every like every, every word of encouragement uh, big big thank you to the patrons uh, they've made you guys have made a lot of it happen um, it, in just, you, you know, kind words to the Discord channel that we've got. And it, it's, thank all y'all, um, because when I first started this quest, I full well expecting that I, I would be just, you know, kind of recording this for my own benefit, documenting what decks I had because I couldn't remember. <laughs> um, but... Thank y'all so much, and I hope y'all enjoy the deck. I uh, hope you enjoy seeing me lose with the deck uh, tomorrow, because quite frankly, you know, that's what I expect. Uh, I lose a whole lot. I do, but uh, I am I'm severely, severely outclassed. <laughs> these, are, these are very, very good players. Um, you know, fosters of the format and, you know, 
some crazy levels of judges. I have never played against a level 5 judge. We'll change that tomorrow, I guess. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much. Uh, all the help, all the appreciation. It does. Uh, dogs and cats, um, gotta love them. Just go hug your floofer. That's what it's all about, right? Anyway, thank you all so much. But right now, and I know, I know you've been waiting a while, it's time to shuffle and cut.